What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Volks TV. It's about 5.30 in the morning. And we are heading off on a big old bus trip. Texas to New Mexico in one day. We're trying. Uh, about to go meet all the gang at the gas station and, uh, and group up and grab some ice, some coffee, and uh, and we're headed out. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a, a week-long journey. Might have to break this up into a couple different videos depending on how things go. But uh, come on, let's go check it out. Let's see what the world looks like at 5:30 in the morning. Some safari windows. Let's go. gas station and a safety mask we got Jake we got our bus here we got Gary we got Willy boy bark he always barks at me. oh god he'll bark at <laughs> and old Matt Jackson Mr. VW Life himself. You know, you ask yourself sometimes, have I done something this stupid before? Yes. And you wonder, probably not. So we'll see. You ever been out of state in Helga? I have not. I'm ah. very excited. To, this will be the first, I've had Helga about four years now and uh, always lived in Texas with her. So this will be our first out of, you know, out of state trip. Did you bring a sticker for the sign at the border? No, I did not. <gasps> You're leaking. I know, I just filled up. And now some gonna fill up. You know that's not a thing, right? <laughs> I just filled up and now some's on the floor. How are you this morning? Tired. Tired? You act like it's early or something. Did you get your thing installed? Nope. Oh. It's okay. Who packed your car? Ray Charles? <laughs> I was doing it early. Leave me alone. Ouch. All right, I'm gonna put a CB in her car real quick and then we're gonna be on the road. Here we go. So what do we have going on here, Mr. Bogan? Uh, well, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to just change your throttle cable in the middle of the road for no reason. But it's a good thing you got a backup, I guess. Well, I mean, yeah, I got a few clutch cables. I got clutch cables for everybody. We might do a clutch party later. I think all of these are... What are you doing?
And just like that, he's back on the road. Lunch stop. <laughs> yeah. Mad Jackson found us a nice little park to camp our, uh, or park our buses in with some shade. And everybody's having lunch. She made some sort of a stew. Salad. That's terrible. That's <laughs> Your life. Matt's making sandwiches. Yeah. These guys. I was going. You don't have mm. anything to put in cheese. And of course, Gary got to set up an entire camp to eat a sandwich. What kind of sandwich you got? Ham, cheese, mayo, mustard. Damn. Horse head pickles, pepperoni seeds. Falling. I only got peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I got lots of it though. I got that for the way home when you run out of food. Yeah. <laughs> Good spot, Matt Jackson. Yeah. I think that it shows that there's a pond on the map, like right there. Probably dried up. Mm -hmm. Let's have. Uh, I had to pull over and fix my throttle cable in the road. Not even on the side of the road, but on the actual road. That was a real adventure. Um, and then we just parked and uh, checked the engine temps and I was a little high. And the whole right side of my motor is just covered in oil. I don't know what that is, but it's too hot to look at it. So once it cools off a bit, we'll uh, take a look. I have a feeling it's that breather tube stuck. It's it's sort of pinched back here because I put some oil in it. And it looks like it it pinched. It turned so to turn that back and check the level and see it's not too wet underneath. I don't think just all up on top so I'll clean it off and we'll see and we'll recheck it in a little bit but for now just a nice little rest in the shade we'll get back after it in just a minute Jakey's time to break down. <laughs> I think we've all had our oh, really boy. We've all had our moments. Uh, Jake's running lean and losing it a little bit. It's getting hot. It's about 107 out here. Well, really hot. boy. Rolls? No, hold on. You need a distributor or something, I got one. Oh, here comes a big old truck. Look, it looks like your truck. Now, <laughs> uh, he don't have as much black smoke coming out. We're in, uh, I don't know, Tarzan, Texas. I think is what this place is called, Tarzan, Texas, outside of Big Spring, kind of near, near La Mesa. Uh, we're about 45 miles away from uh, New Mexico and, and our destination for the night, um, camp and a, a shower and something cold to drink. It's not super hot. Uh, so they're gonna fix it or at least get it half as fixed until we can get there. and. I think everybody's got to do a little repairing uh, at the campsite to uh, get us the rest of the way tomorrow. But this is our beautiful little group pulled over on the side of the road again. Back to action. about 6 a.m. we're packed up we're packing up we're getting ready to go checking our oil levels and everything 
got the uh, camp circle. It was a smelly, windy night, but uh, I think everybody survived it. So we're doing uh, a little quick maintenance, packing it up, and we're gonna be on the road trying to get out before it gets too hot. Good times. What do you say, Matt Jackson? Uh, what is it? Is it six? It's, it's six. almost seven a.m. But we, we went through a time change, so we're kind of confused. So it's almost seven, and we're about three or four hours from the mountains. So we're trying to leave early. It's that way. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's west, right? Yeah. And the sun rises in the east. Oh. So it's it, that way. It's that way. Yeah. Oh, it's that way. Yeah. He was right. Uh, VW Life got that good compass. Oh yeah. Yeah, sun's coming up. There we go. Oh, and what a beautiful sunrise it is. Yeah. Yeah, you can't beat that. This place stinks, literally, but man. It stink. So far, the, the show in the sky has been pretty good. Yeah, so it's been, uh, we're expecting some good uh, views, so we're cleaning our windshield. So there's no, you want to see, you don't want to see bug guts when you're uh, driving into the mountains. So how does that affect with the safaris open? Oh, for you, it's not uh, not applicable for those people, so. <laughs> Jake, Jake. Good morning. How'd yeah, you we'll sleep, buddy? Like a rock. Like a rock. A good rock. Winning. I'm from Round Rock, so rocks are good. Ah. Brett. And Zoe. Hi, Zoe. It's some jackal we picked up on the way over here. Jackal. Mr. James over here had his AC going all night. Yeah, I have to shut it off at around three o'clock. It got too cold. Got a little chilly, dude. <laughs> Windy. I didn't even hear the wind. Oof, it was bad. <laughs> it was very windy. I'm Charlie with the Morning, Mr. Camp Mobile. Yeah, with all my junk. <clears throat> the giant tent <laughs> and the bug trailer. His junk is swap meat. Yeah. Gotta, gotta have everything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go pack it up and uh, make some breakfast and we're gonna be on the road. Let's go. Made it to the uh, May Hill store for our uh, final gas stop, filling up before we get up in the mountains. Everybody seems to be running okay for the moment. It's pretty nice, beautiful up here. Man, the trees. This is amazing country. It's worth uh, driving through hell yesterday to get here, but uh, it's it's good. Everybody's in good spirits today. Even Alice, the grumpiest one of the bunch. I'm not grumpy, but you know what's wrong? There's no peanut patties anywhere. Nope. They nope. have a box and it's empty. Oh. Charlie! Here. And Brent, present and accounted for. There. Here. Did you get the, a picture of the... All right, all filled up. Time to roll. Time to roll. Just can't talk. This elevation's got me all verklempt.
probably the biggest climb that I've ever climbed in a bus. That was freaking ridiculous. It was like 3,000 feet in a quarter mile. <laughs> We're waiting on Alice, but she's almost here. It's just old and slow. Oh, okay. Let's make sure her air conditioner's on. It's going to make it quick. Well, she don't have air conditioner. Oh, poor thing. I'm sorry. Is it smoking pretty bad? Yeah, I didn't know if I needed it. Oh, she'll be okay. Oh, we stopped. That's why we stopped. We're waiting on her. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm going to conserve battery power because we're almost done, but I'm going to catch Alice coming around this bend. There she comes. You go. She made it up this ridiculous climb. What do you think? Oh man, that was uh, the worst price of admission right there. <laughs> I mean, we came from, we were down there and we came all the way around and around and around and around and up here. Crazy, crazy. All right, back to the car, switch batteries, continue on. We're about 20 miles from our destination now, I think. So let's go, uh, let's go for a drive. All right, so Jason's gonna come up the dirt road and try to make his way up the hill here. So it's all about the momentum. With the split window, you've got, you know, the reduction boxes that help you. So it's not super hard, but uh, he does have to have some mem momentum. Well, there you have it, folks. I did it. <laughs> I made it up to the top of the mountain over here. I didn't have any doubts that I could make it. I just, I just didn't want to. <laughs> we got it. Peer pressure is a bitch, man. It'll get you every time. Watch out, kids. All right, gang, there you go. That's the first couple days of that trip. Man, it was hot. It was like 15 hours of driving through 100 plus degree heat. But, you know, seven plucky little buses scooting right along while well, six and three quarters. Charlie's got a Subaru conversion, but no AC, so still hot. Uh, and pulling a trailer. I can't believe it. You know, all the three of us pulling trailers up there in 100 plus degree heat was ridiculous. I think we went through three fuel pumps that day, a throttle cable, and I don't know, about 90 bottles of water. <laughs> I drank so many bottles of Gatorade, I ran out of places to put the bottles. It was so many, it was way too many. Um, we camped out that first night in uh, Ulis, uh, which is the first little city you come to uh, driving up into New Mexico there. Uh, it was a weird little dirt lot camping lot but we got there super late so we didn't get any footage of us rolling in but that first morning stuff we saw uh, that was there the circled up campsite so there we go climbing the hills alice trying to make her bus fly she did that like four times trying to get that thing up that hill we ended up finally having to push it um, but everybody made it up the hill except charlie he was just a little too low and they decided to stay downtown for the night um, we had wild crazy coyotes that night we had uh, some rain that got the temperatures down to 50 after being 104 107 it was 50 degrees that night it was amazing uh, it was a beautiful night too once the rain cleared up everything cleared up we had beautiful sky uh, saw some shooting stars 
up in the sky we're counting satellites and stuff that was pretty awesome um, but stay tuned because next week we're going for a little drive in the mountains uh, dirt road crawling for no joke man we were in first gear second gear maybe second gear for two days driving on the 64 road it was amazing I'll throw a map uh, in the beginning of the next video so you guys can see you know how far we traveled through the mountains we basically went from one end of the range to the other but that's a story for next weekend so we'll check that out then <laughs> so until then hit that little subscribe button Hit the little ring the bell for me. Thanks for watching. <laughs>